two days before season back here at first light just glassing that stuff I just showed you um, these are pocket deer they just live in little brush pockets and on these ridges and stuff so far all I've seen is a big bull elk about typical Okay, second day here, um, back down at the main camp. Uh, today was a scout day, um, got out, glassed a bunch of country. Um, I was on the 15s looking for my, three miles in, did not see the bucks that I saw this summer, but it's okay. I kind of figured I wouldn't because this summer when I was here, this is a fairly roaded area, even though I've got the horses. Um, there's, there's a lot of country that people can get to on their ATVs, and there's been an archery season open since I was here in July. And uh, so I, I, they've just moved these deer away from these roads. That's fine. Um, that's why I brought the horses. I know where some of these hidden pockets are and stuff that are a little harder to get to. So I ruled out a bunch of country today. I'm getting a little dinner going right now, and I'm uh, going to read the word and uh, head to bed early. i got to get up at like 3.30. So, man, you got to go to bed early to get up at 3.30. At least I do. And uh, tomorrow's another scout day, and then, then it opens. So uh, just, um, I'll find these bucks. They got to be somewhere right here. There's no way that they left. They're, they're just hiding. So we'll see. All right. Scouted this morning from daylight till about 1130. I did find uh, nine bucks on that same mountain where I had seen that big buck this summer. I'm sure some of them were the same ones. He was, him and his running buddy were the only two real notable bucks of size and I didn't see either of them, which doesn't worry me at all. That just means they're hiding. All these other bucks that were out on these slopes were just some of those younger bucks that were with them, I'm sure. Uh, so I've kind of scouted around the whole mountain without actually getting on it. I just don't want to go over there and, and mess him up this close to the season. Um, it opens in the morning, so, but at least I've ruled out all the places that he, he's not right now. Now he can move overnight and end up in one of those, but I've still ruled out all the easy places, which is a good thing because I think there's only been one or two cars drive up and down this road in the last three days. And in the last two hours, there's been about six. There's a big four-wheeler camp 150 yards north of me here. So yeah, the troops are showing up. You can tell it's going to be opening day. Going to be wild. But that's all right. Um, I'm not out there talking to anybody. A lot of times I do. But when guys see someone with horses in a place like this, they and I've been here a couple days, they have a lot of questions. And I hate lying to anybody, so I don't even want to tell them what I'm doing. So I'm going to hide if possible. I got to run this slope where I saw him in July, and it's covered with deer tracks. Okay, it's about an hour after sunrise. I think I found him. It's not him, it's another pretty good buck. Okay, I got the glass on him and studied him real carefully. It's not him. I think it's his running buddy. I pulled up the video from this summer on my phone. I've still got it. And this this buck is very similar to the one he was with, but he's not big enough to be him. So he's all by himself. I think I'm just going to keep an eye on him. I doubt he's by himself. It's just all I can see right now, but it's the best clue I've had yet in three days. And this is only one ridge over from where they were this summer. So looking good. It's just after seven. I got back in here and good news, still no hunters. I found three bucks out on the next ridge over from where that nice one was yesterday. I lost about 15 minutes looking at them. I had to make sure he wasn't with them. 
jumped over another ridge, ran into a nice bull elk, had to wait for him to get out of the way, and then I ran into some does, so I haven't got much ground cover this morning because I've been hiding from everything, but I'm trying to glass as many of these little side canyons. It's supposed to get hot today, and so these deer are going to lay down early, so that's the report. another buck down there where that one was yesterday. He's a smaller buck. He's still in velvet, but he keeps looking down the hill into the brush, so I don't think he's alone. Okay, let's do a hunt recap. I've been here six days. Uh, three of those days, the season's been open. The other days, I was just pre-scouting, looking for a buck that I had found in July. Bad news is, I haven't located him. Uh, good news is, I seem to be finding all the bucks he was running with in the area that he was in. And I haven't seen any hunters right there. Now, there's a fair amount of hunting pressure on these other faces, but I haven't seen anybody over where, where he's at. It's pretty tough to get to. Um, I got to ride the horses about an hour and 45 minutes to get to the bottom of the mountain, and then I got to hike up the mountain. So it's about three hours to get in there and uh, have to leave at an ungodly time in the morning to, to get up there. Um, but I've been there at daylight every morning, and you know, I'm bedding up bucks, I'm seeing bucks. I, I just know he's if he's around, he's going to show up in there. Um, so tonight, what is it, Saturday night? I'm going to take tomorrow off. I'm tired. The horses are tired. You know, they've been pulling a camp clear in the bottom. They've been having to pull this mountain um, every day. And I'm just going to let them rest. Uh, I'm going to rest. I mean, God says it's a good thing to rest. And I know if I don't get enough rest, I get burned out. And then I end up quitting. And, and man, I don't want to quit on a tag like this, especially when I know there's a, a great buck running around. Anyways, uh, that's the hunt recap. I'm just going to have a little spaghetti tonight. Best meal of the week and uh, rest up and then hit it again Monday morning. Sun's coming up. I'm on top. It's pretty windy. Just checking pockets. Looks like this wind has moved some of these deer off the top. There's not as many up here. That three point that was in velvet is finally rubbing off. Okay, new buck. This maybe is him. I haven't got a real good look at him yet. He's in the shadows over there. He's definitely not been here before. I have not seen this buck on this hillside. And he's just knocking the crap out of that three point that was in velvet couple of days. I'm 70% sure it's him. I, he's just in so many shadows I can't tell, but um, I'm, i got to cut some distance off here. I'm not anywhere where I can get close enough to shoot, but I can get a better look at him. Hope it's him. Well, I got over here, got out of the bright sun, and it's not him. The buck we're looking for is wider than that. So, darn it. False alarm. Nicest buck of the trip so far, though. Another buck tucked in his bed over there. He's on a different hillside than these other two. That's that buck from a couple days ago. They're laying down a little earlier since it got hot. While I'm sitting here baking in the sun, 
seeing if any more bucks stand up over there. Gotta tell you what happened last night. About 10 to 1. The tent is just dead silent. I must have been a little bit awake because all of a sudden I heard something walking in the tent. So I rolled over and flipped my flashlight on over in the corner by my garbage skunk. He had come in underneath the wall of the tent. And I kind of like skunks, but I thought I, I better get ready. So I grabbed my 22 pistol laying there, semi-auto, and I didn't want to shoot him. You know, sometimes they spray, and I just thought, well, maybe he'll just leave. But he tore into that garbage. And I thought, oh, no, he's not going to leave. He's going to defend that thing to the death. So, um, regrettably, he's in heaven now. And uh, he didn't spray when I shot him, but everything still has a faint smell of skunk on it. My cryptic altitude, sitting there every once in a while, you just get a whiff of skunk. So, anyways... At least I can say I, I got something while I was here. This buck should be getting up pretty soon. The sun's starting to hit his antlers and he's starting to get a little antsy. I see him moving his head around. He's right in the center of the screen there. Yeah, see how he's moving his head around? He'll get up here pretty quick. goes. Pow. Herein lies the Night Stalker, lover of garbage, hater of 22s. God have mercy on his soul. I think that's some of those other bucks I've been seeing. Um, that nicest one might have been that one from opening day, but definitely not the one we're looking for. Nice bucks, but I still think there's better. I know there's better. I just got to find Big, big bull. So I'm at Dela. He's been over there chasing cows. They're on the other side of the ridge. I see way more big bulls than I do big bucks. <laughs> He's bugling. His cows have moved clear across the canyon. I don't know if he's trying to find them or... Here's another one. He's bugling at this other one that we were watching. A lot of cover to hide in. That's why I keep hiking back in here. Okay, rock sliders, hunt update. I've been here nine days and I've hunted eight of them and I haven't found him yet. I've seen about 15 different bucks, uh, a couple pretty nice ones, but not the one that I saw this summer. Um, obviously he's not on the hillsides I'm hunting and I've hunted around that whole mountain. I've tried to check everything. It's hard to be everywhere at daylight when they're up and moving. But uh, I'm going to keep hunting there because if he left, I don't know where he went. And my odds have always been better to just 
stay where I've seen them, especially if there's not a bunch of hunting pressure there, and there hasn't been. There's quite a few guys here, but nobody's really going in there where I've seen him, and those other bucks seem to be very comfortable in there. A herd of elk moved in uh, last night. Sometimes that can goof things up. They're loud and noisy and smelly. Um, fun to watch, though. But uh, anyways, two more days, and then I got to call it quits. That's all the time I got, so wish me luck. Pretty sure that's that four point from the other day that was bedded up under that bush. He's moved about three quarters of a mile around the mountain. Probably because those elk moved in right where he had been, but who knows. Well, 7.30, I made it back around to the back of the mountain and that three point is still down in there. He's been rubbing a lot, his antlers are tan. They're the tannest up here. All these other bucks still have white antlers. But um, I just watched him go down and get a drink of water and now he's back up on the hillside. But that's about it to report. A few bucks moving around this morning, but he's only got one more day to show up. And then I don't have any more time. I'm just riding and glassing some of this lower country that I've stayed out of the last week and a half. Because there's been a lot of hunting pressure down here. Um, not that I'd expect to see the buck down here, but it gives me just a whole different view of the big mountain I've been hunting, which is, you can kind of see it right there. Um, sometimes just changing angles lets you look into the country a little bit different than you've been able to. I'd always rather be on top and be where the bucks are, but sometimes you just can't see them that way. So anyways, that's the tactic this morning. So. I went to ride off and decided to give the hillside one more look. Had the spotting scope and everything put away and look who stood up over there. No, it's not him, but another decent buck. That's a magpie sitting on his back, picking ticks. There's a couple more. One right at the top of the screen, then in the lower hand, right hand side. So that's about three bucks, maybe four that are over there. Well, today was supposed to be the last day. The season's still open. I'm just out of vacation time, patience, energy, all that stuff. Man, seeing those other bucks this afternoon just tells me I, I still haven't seen everything that's on that mountain and the one we're after could still be there so I've been praying about it I think I better squeak out one more day at least hit tomorrow morning I'll uh, get my wife with the satellite messenger tonight let her know I ain't gonna make it home when I said she'll be disappointed She'll understand. She's a good lady. So that's the plan. Instead of getting on the road, we're out in one more day. Rained pretty good last night. I'm back out here where I was yesterday. That uh, big three point that we left bedded, he's still there. Seen another two point. Really nicest morning we've had. It's a Nice and cool and wet. The buck should be out. That's a pretty good buck. I don't know if it's him. Um, he forks. It's sort of like he did, but I can't. 
I'm looking over a mile here and I, I can't quite tell. It's not light enough out here, so we'll keep working our way around, keep looking. Bucks be like, hey, you see all these ladies up here? In six weeks, they'll be at my pad. Oh yeah, bring it on. I got the glass on every buck over there that I saw at daylight. He's not with them. So it's time to pull the plug. Time to head for home. I hope you enjoyed the last 11 days. I wish I could have showed you that buck Hardhorn. I know he would have been fantastic. There's some nice bucks here, but he was purely a class above them. So thanks for following. I hope you pulled something out of this that'll help you take your next big mule deer. I had a hoot. I hope you did too. Praise the Lord, eh? Man, I spotted like a dozen bucks over there. Seems to be more than what there was when I left. The weather's about 10, 15 degrees cooler too. I guess some chuckers. Cool. The weather's about 10, 15 degrees cooler too. So I can tell they're not in a hurry to get to their beds. So. Glad I came back. Feels good to be on the mountain again. That's why I don't sweat the full moon too much. These deer still got to eat. Really been studying that one. I'm not sure I've seen him before. I give him about 175. He's not very wide though. He's a nice buck. Probably the best scoring buck I've seen. Yeah. Amazing a bush that size can hide a buck. I saw him get up about 11 and walk in that bush. He was only out for just a second. I'm pretty sure it's one of the ones I saw this morning. But he's hiding in there. He stood up right there in the shadows. That's what you're looking for when you're glassing midday.
couple of bucks coming through that saddle at daylight. That's the first time I've ever seen those deer over there. There's that biggest three by four from 10, 12 days ago. He hasn't moved 300 yards. He's still on the same hillside. If he moved, he came back. Oh, and I just saw a couple other guys stalking behind me. They said they saw a, quote, bomber right below me. So they're headed down there. Strange. I've been here for 13 days. I haven't seen any, quote, bombers, but we'll see. Well, peoples, that wraps it up. I hit that mountain pretty hard this morning. Uh, glassed up all those backside ridges. Those deer don't seem to be over there. They seem to all be on this side. Um, so that's it. It's the last day. Season's closing. I'm on my way out. Thanks to Leo for getting me back in here. And sorry I couldn't kill you, deer. I did the best I could. I feel good about it. I gave it all I had. So till next time.